What is good YouTube? It is your boy Cardi and in today's video I'm going to be bringing y'all the build that is going to break NBA 2K22. Before we get into this video and before you start watching all these clips of me going crazy in the background, make sure you boys subscribe right now. We are on the road to 30k. We are getting so close to 21k so keep subbing up so we can hit 21k and then 30k so drop a like right now. Subscribe if you're new and turn on those post notifications on to all. If you are a new sub, comment new sub right now and I will say thank you. I respond to all my new subs. I respond to all my comments. I at least try to. Sometimes I get a big influx of a lot of comments and I can't really get to all of them, but I try my absolute best to respond to all of them. I appreciate y'all boys so much, but yeah, just look at these clips I got playing in the background, bro. This build can literally do everything. It can shoot if you want it to shoot. It can dribble if you want it to dribble. It has amazing defensive stats. This build is as fun to me as the old two-way slashing playmaker from NBA 2K20, and this is the three-way slashing playmaker. Let's get into this video right now. I love y'all boys so much, but I appreciate y'all boys, and let's get right into this banger man let's go all right before we get into this video i just want to ask you know a little public consensus first of all put a one in the comments say one you're gonna hit it two you're not gonna hit it if i'm gonna hit level 40 by the end of this season because there is 11 days left and i just don't know if i'm gonna hit it bro i don't i play a lot of other games now i'm playing mlb madden sometimes i play stage but stage you know stage doesn't give you anything but it's just like do i want to grind what am i grinding for like this the banner is the best reward do y'all agree do y'all even think this bunny suit is even good because i just don't think it's that good i don't think it's worth me grinding <laughs> but you know let's get into this video man that's my little rant if y'all are mad at 2k comment mike wang needs to be fucking roundhouse kicked in the head if you're mad at 2k <laughs> okay now make sure that you're in the build all right now for the first thing you want to do i meant make sure you make a shooting guard okay do not make a point guard shooting guards get you more badges better stats all the type of stuff so make sure you are a shooting guard and we are gonna go 69 you already know the vibes yes sir we need 69,000 likes on this video because i'm dropping bangers all 2022 but the pie chart we're going to go with is the one that has more blue than green. That is the one we're going to be going with today because this build is going to be able to dribble. It's going to be able to shoot and it's going to be able to play defense. And I promise you that. All right. So I'm going to tell you exactly what I did. I went with the speed pie chart. Okay. Some people go with this pie chart right here where you get 80 speed, 80 acceleration, but you're going to have way higher speed than all this shows in any way. But people like to have a high vertical whenever they play on slashing builds. And that's perfectly fine. If you want to sacrifice some speed, go ahead and do this. But see, I'm more of the guy that wants that 99 speed and that 99 acceleration or at least as close to it as I can possibly be But you know if you're not one of those people then you're good, bro Don't even worry about it and just go ahead and get that right there because it doesn't even matter to be honest It's the end of the gear. It's the end of the game unless you're gonna be out here trying to play stage sweats 24 7 bro If you want higher vertical get higher vertical. It doesn't even matter All right, but yeah, I'm going with the speed to be honest because I don't feel like it's that much needed um now for this you're going to want to basically put everything up to so your close shot. You're going to want to put this up to an 83. So bring this down to an 83. Then you're going to want to put this up to an 86. So take this down to an 86. And then you're going to take your driving dunk and put this up to an 81. Okay. So you should have about, um, give or take 12 finishing badges. You're just going to move this up to 50. And then you should have about 12 finishing badges. Okay. So that's what you're going to work with. And then now for your mid range, you're going to want to move this all the way up to the max okay and then now for your three point you're going to move this up to a 79 and all these stats are going to change this is not the final stats i know most people should know this by now we've had pie charts for three years nba 2k change the build system give it something new not next gen not pie charts do something good even though they don't care i don't even know why i said that because they don't listen they don't but whatever um your free throw you want to put that up just so you can finally max out and get that 16 finishing badges okay like i said if you have badges if you have badges that have you've built up from hitting level 30 39 in previous seasons you can use them on this build you can use them any on any new build you make and also if you don't know how to get rebirth that's where you can become a 90 overall and unlock half your badges of course you have to pay for 90 overall i don't know how many old heads bro the amount of old heads that have commented on my rebirth video oh this dude's made it seem like you could just get 90 overall off rip bro what billion dollar company is going to sacrifice their money that they're going to be making for you to be able to get your build to 90 overall for free like dog obviously you're gonna have to use your vc bro like hello you just don't have to unlock those overalls you don't have to play games to unlock 90 overall like I'm, i don't even know i don't even know how that's a fucking even a, a question but whatever you know teachers just say there's no dumb questions that shit is fucking retarded but anyways go <laughs> go to ball handle put that to 80 okay and you're gonna move this up to a 57 all right yeah we big chilling now coaches 
We got 12, 16, 16, and 16. All right, so we are doing perfectly fine on the badges, okay? We are doing really good. Say you have like four from the previous seasons or five, you have five extra badges, okay? You can put all five on shooting, have 21 shooting, all five on finishing, have 17 finishing, which I don't really see the need for that. I mean, you need post rise or limitless takeoff, that's it, in my opinion. Um, maybe fast twitch or some shit like that, but I don't even know. I'll show you the badges I use on this build, but I, that's all I really care about is limitless takeoff and um, post riser. But shooting, you probably go a little bit more shooting if you wanted to, because you're going to have a good three, but uh, you'll be perfectly fine with what you have. Uh, playmaking, you go a little bit more playmaking if you wanted to ISO on this build, that makes more sense. Or you go defense, because the defense is where, you know, you're kind of a liability, but you can still play really good defense on this build. I have no problem playing defense on this build. All right, boys, now for the defense, what you're going to do is I'm going to put my perimeter defense up to a 76, okay? So just leave that is 76 move this up to a 74 so what i do at the end of this video is going to have way better defense than normal but um move the steel up to a 79 your block's only going to go up to a 44 because you're just going to put everything else onto defensive rebound and you use every single one left on that okay so now you have 12 16 16 and 6 so say you had those five badges dome on defense you have 12 16 16 and 11 you'll be chilling with six defensive badges i promise you need like clamp silver interceptor bronze chase on artist bronze intimidator bronze that's it you'll be good with that right there that's all you need if you have common sense you can play defense all right um now for the body shape doesn't matter i'll always go like built or slight or compact normally what i do i'm gonna just go compact for this now for the height okay this is completely i'm gonna tell you the advantages and disadvantages to each one okay if you're six five, you don't get the same speed. You get similar speed, but you don't get the same speed. And you're not gonna get the same ball handling that you would get on a six three. Okay. Now you also suffer from a driving dunk loss, but I'm gonna make this minimum weight, and then I'm going to move my wingspan to max. So as you can see, if I move my wingspan to max, I still get 85 ball handle move at 99. I still get a 96 speed and a 96 acceleration at 99. I still get a 90 or 87 driving dunk with a 79 three pointer and an 81 mid range. So with max wingspan, you're gonna have way better defense as you can see. You're gonna be able to get contact dunks, you're gonna be able to shoot, and you're gonna be able to unlock all the drip moves that you need, and you're gonna be 6'3 with a 96 speed, okay? Um, I think this is the best route to go. Obviously, if you want a tall guard, I completely understand that. But I'm personally going 6'3". That's what I went with on my build. And that's what I would recommend you go with is 6'3". And then go minimum wings or minimum weight, I mean, sorry. And then turn that boy's wingspan up all the way. You got the A Cardi IRL build, boys. I'm 6'3", max wingspan. I literally am 6'2", max wingspan. So you're basically creating my IRL build, basically. I just can't fucking dunk because, you know, I'm a... Uh, I'm pale as shit, so y'all know what that means. <laughs> but <laughs> anyways, um, I'll go slashing take, okay? This is personal preference again. Uh, play take is just terrible. Uh, Mike Wing put in one ankle breaker animation, called it a wrap, headed to Cancun, and was done. I don't know what's going on with him, bro. He needs to get his shit together, or I'm going to have to visit 2K headquarters with my boy, uh, Ronnie 2K, and, you know, we're going to handle some shit with my subscribers. We're going to have a meetup. We're going to handle we gonna We're going to make 2K23 good. You better believe it. But this year, you get one anchor breaker move, and that's about it. Uh, there's ob That's obviously an exaggeration, but I just don't like it that much. Shot creating is just not good. There's really no, I don't know. I, I just don't care for it. Um, see, my thing is if I was playing the ones, I would have made this build 6-5. So if you're making this build, I'm assuming you're not going to be playing the ones. If you're playing the ones court on stage, you could use the lockdown defender badge. But you know what I'm saying? You're not. Yeah, I made it 6-3 because I didn't plan on playing the ones court. You can still play the ones court, but you're just probably going to get bitched by a big old big body post score, but you don't want to deal with that. And I understand that. Just make a two-way playmaker if you want to play the ones court all day. That's a generic build that everybody uses. So make that shit if you don't want to have fun. If you want to have fun, you want to be on a real OG motherfucker, you come make this fucking build that i'm making right now the catfish three-way slash and playmaker all right so i'm gonna go with this right here so we have made a two-way playmaker but it's really not a two-way playmaker this is just what it says i don't know bro I, this is not a two-way playmaker this shit doesn't even have fucking defense realistically like it does it does but it doesn't like why is this called a two-way playmaker i couldn't tell you but anyways, I'm just going to go over the badges that I use for this build, and I'm just going to help y'all out, and then I'm going to end the video. All right, so if this is where you end, if you don't want to see the good badges, and I love y'all boys, make sure you subscribe, make sure you drop a like, unless I'm just going to show y'all exactly what I do. So I just go to test build, and my build's not maxed yet, but you can do rebirth. I'm going to show you what rebirth looks like. All right, so if you were going to rebirth this build, this is what it would look like, okay? So you would go right here, pick the slash and take, and as you can see, 
it says two-way playmaker you have built a two-way playmaker then you go to start my career and if you do not get this screen you need to watch a cardi's video i have two of the most popular videos on this how to make rebirth i would suggest watching the most recent one because it's a little bit more helpful considering i made the first one the hour it came out you know back in season two so this is what you do up to 20 badges already earned first 10 my points already completed so yeah, that's what you do, but I'm gonna back out and show you the badges. I would All right, boys, so the badges I would use on this build, okay? So you have 12, 16, 16, and six. So off rip, we're gonna go over here. Limitless takeoff and post riser need to be on Hall of Fame. If you have contact dunks, you need to put these two things on Hall of Fame, okay? So make sure you put those two badges on Hall of Fame. Now, with this, you can really do whatever you want. I'll probably go acrobat, and then I'll probably go unstrippable, and that's just me. I don't really think anything else for a guard is that important. Maybe Giant Slayer could be good. Um, maybe put on giant slayer and then keep on shriveled on bronze and then just go like this and that's good That's perfectly fine. You don't need really giant uh, uh, Acrobat that much because you're not gonna be really trying to do layups But I mean you can have it on just in case, but I just don't see a point um, Now for everything else you're going to lucky number seven bronze always lucky number seven is crazy sniper gold green machine silver um, You're gonna want chef silver if you're the one that's doing the shooting and doing the dribbling Then you're gonna stop and pop mismatch expert and probably dead eye or hot zone hunter i'll go hot zone hunter and maybe throw on dead eye like to take this down to silver and then there you go you should be good with that right there i'm not gonna lie that is pretty good you get seven silver badges two bronze badges you have every badge that a play shot has just on like a lower setting you'll be just fine with these bro if you can't shoot like with this bro then you just probably can't shoot at all because you have like an 85 three-pointer so you are big chilling if you can know if you know how to shoot the ball now for your playmaking badges okay you're gonna want to of course Quick first step needs to be on. Quick chain needs to be on. Handles for days need to be on. Um, unpluckable needs to be on. And then now let's see what you have to work with, okay? So now you have four badges that you can work with. And you can either go tight handles or you could go bullet pass or you go bailout. So for me personally, I'm going to go tight handles gold and then I'm going to go bullet pass or bronze. Because if you are on my team and you can't shoot, I don't get dimer coaches. So you're just gonna have to you know you got to see it through and you're gonna have to hit your shots if you're open because nobody's passing to me with dimer so if i can hit my if i can read my shots when i'm open you, you you need to hit your shots when you're open so those are the badges i would use right there perfect okay now for your defensive badges like i said you want to go like this you want to go clamps on silver interceptor bronze intimidator bronze chase on artist bronze and you have one more badge and i would do that with something like pickpocket or maybe interceptor silver or in intimidator silver or chase on artist silver or even gold uh clamps but for me i'm probably gonna go like something like silver interceptor or silver intimidator because chase on artist is just to unlock those chase down blocks when you have max wingspan so you will get some chase down blocks um, but yeah, those are the badges. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If this video is a good build, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you think about this build because I really am having a lot of fun on it. As you can see by those clips in the intro, it was very fun to play on. I'm very enjoy I'm enjoying it, to be honest. It's the most fun I've had in a long time on this game. So I love y'all boys so much, man. Y'all keep tuning into these videos. I appreciate y'all. We got bangers coming this summer, IRL videos, all types of videos. 2K23 is right around the corner, and we're going to keep building this momentum up and just go crazy. All glory to God. Thank y'all boys so much. I love you. Trust in him. Trust in the process. Chase your dreams. Don't settle for anything. If you if you don't have any support system around you, it's okay. All you need is yourself, okay? I love y'all boys. Keep grinding. Keep chasing your dreams. Y'all will be just fine. Don't be too stressed out. Take life as it is. No one gets out alive. I love y'all boys. Keep grinding. Love y'all. Goodbye.